Whether you're at home this holiday weekend, staying inside with the ACs, watching streamings with your family, or if you're heading out to the theaters, we are getting you ready for all of it. I'm joined now by Tom Santilli, film critic, co-host, and executive producer of Movie Show Plus. Tom, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Great to be here as always, Jen. How's it going? It's going great. So obviously <laughs> we know what we're going to talk about. First, yes. Top Gun Maverick. It's finally in theaters. What can you tell us about it? Wow. Uh, it is, all I can say so far is believe the hype. Uh, this movie uh, was, you know, long awaited. It was delayed more than two years. It finally the people who I know who have seen it echoed exactly what you were saying, that <laughs> it was one of the best movies they've seen. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, two highly anticipated streaming series are also available this weekend. We've got Obi-Wan Kenobi, that's on Disney Plus, and also the new season of Stranger Things, which a lot of people have been looking forward to. What are your thoughts on those? Yeah, so uh, I'm a huge Star Wars nut. Uh, I, I watched Obi-Wan as soon as I could when it uh, dropped on Disney Plus on Friday. The first two episodes are on there. It's a six episode series and I, I loved it. And there was a lot of uh, Easter eggs and things like that for people that follow the, the, the Star Wars uh, stuff like uh, Star Wars Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, which are two animated series that are also on Disney Plus. But uh, it looks great. Ewan McGregor's great. And I'm just excited to see where it goes. Uh, Stranger Things uh, is season four. The first seven episodes dropped. You're going to have to wait till July 1st for the final two episodes of this season. And then there will be a fifth season that was announced, a fifth and final season coming out later. Uh, I never really got into Stranger Things, but I know that everybody loves it. And it's one of those shows that you can watch with your kids and your, you know, well, your teenage kids, I should say, and, and adults alike. So those are both uh, streaming this weekend. So lots to watch. And today is also the Indy 500. I want to make sure we have time for this. You spoke recently with racing icon Danica Patrick about movies, and I know that we have a portion of that interview we're going to play now. I have not watched like the classic series of things. Like I haven't watched Star Wars. I haven't oh, watched wow, okay. um, like the Harry Potters. So I like kind of like futuristic sci-fi. You know, Christopher Nolan, of... like Christopher oh, Nolan, yeah, like, like Interstellar. Like, uh, Interstellar is my favorite yeah. movie of all time. Oh gosh, yeah. Have you seen uh, other films by him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inception yeah, I didn't and things think like Tenet that. Yeah. was so great. A Tenet was a little hard yeah. to follow. And I feel pretty like with it with that kind of stuff, but it was hard. So anyway, I think those are some great movies that I like. I love comedies too. Those are pretty great. I mean, the Will Ferrell era of things is pretty spectacular. <laughs> Did you see Talladega Nights? Of course. I imagine. <laughs> of what course. did you think of that as a, as a race car driver? I mean, was There's that- There's some true storylines in there. Okay, very cool. <laughs> Danica's got some good taste <laughs> in movies there. And Tom, really quick before we let you yes. go, I know a new episode of Movie Show Plus debuts this weekend. Where can our viewers go to watch it? Uh, go to movieshowplus.com. All my reviews, my full review of Top Gun Maverick as well. And by the way, Danica was in town uh, hyping up goodfoods.com. It's a healthy food snack item. That's why she was in town promoting stuff, and I got to talk to her about movies. But uh, go to my, for my full interview with Danica, you can also go to movieshowplus.com. Always great to talk to you. Tom Santilli with Movie Show Plus. Thanks so much for joining us.